Hey, this is Foofles, and I want to set things on fire. This is a creatinator set to emit little flame particles. Now, let's set some of these houses on fire. Hey, what do you know? Nothing happens. Looks like we gotta get our logic brains out and make something happen. One of the beauties of Little Big Planet 2 is that you can capture and heart any microchip you make and reuse that on any object or any other microchip. So let's start our little flammable object microchip. This is going to be three phases. It's going to get more and more interesting. So we need to go into the simple logic to get the microchip object. And we're just going to slap that on a piece of dark matter and it opens up right away. And if you select the board that pops up, you can scale it with the right stick to give yourself more or less room. So that's going to be handy. For now, it's going to be very simple. So by the end of this tutorial, you'll have objects that you can burn to the ground or save if you don't want them to. So first, let's get them to be on fire in the first place. We're going to need a particle sensor. And uh, I'm going to set it to a count of about 10 because that flamethrower shoots pretty fast and you can, do, you can actually set what type of particle it reads. We'll set it to fire. And we're going to connect this switch directly into a danger tweaker. And uh, you see if there's no switch on it, it's just going to go that way. But now it's not. And we're going to set input action to one shot or stay on because the meter is going to reset itself. So right now we have something that will do, well, you'll see. Let's do this. And even this little thing here. Okay, so now let's see what happens. Beautiful. But that's not all. So what if you saw some sack guy burning a village and you wanted to stop him? Well, I could go into my poppet and pull out my handy dandy water gun, which, as you might guess, is a creatinator that shoots water. Yeah, real waters. Check it out. Okay, so that's great, but let's see what we can do with that. So we go back to our microchip and we add another projectile sensor. Set this to react to water only. Okay, so we'll connect that to a danger tweaker set to non-lethal. Yeah, you can do that. And again, it's going to be set to stay on. And we'll just slap that on everything. I'm a little too close to that house, so the flames actually despawn. And you see that they can be healed. That's great and all, but something's missing. You know, what if, if they were on fire for enough time that they would actually burn away, that they would disappear? So we're going to need a destroyer object tweaker. And it lives up to its name. It basically just makes whatever it's attached to destroy. So we're going to set it to dissolve. And uh, we want it to be after a certain time, so it's only logical to use a timer in our advanced logic. And uh, we can just put that there. And, uh, what's a reasonable time? Maybe like, eight seconds? Okay, and, uh, to start the timer, we probably want some kind of toggle. So, we are actually going to use the advanced logic toggler. And, uh, set the output of that to start the timer. We're going to want uh, both the fire and water sensors to interact with this somehow, so uh, let's try an OR gate. 
right here. Okay. And we'll connect that to the toggle switch. And uh, the only thing is we want the fire to turn it on if it's not on. And we want the water to turn it off if it's on. So we're going to need a couple AND gates. So let's set this water to the bottom AND gate and also water will reset the timer we're using to make it burn away so that's very important as well and the fire sensor will feed uh, this AND gate up here and since we want the fire to turn it on if it's not on we're, we're gonna have to use a NOT gate And, uh, so if not toggled, all right, and this is going to feed one side of this ore, and this toggle is going to directly feed this AND gate, because we want if on and water sensor hit, boom. And we're going to have to tweak this timer to make sure the current count is zero. And we're going to set its output to the destroyer. And connect this AND combination from the water switch to our OR toggle. And just for good measure, let's put a little sound when it uh, disappears. Let's go into the destruction category. And choose on destruction. And this. I think this sounds like something like burning away. Alright. So that'll be here. So let's see this all in action. If I leave it alone, it should all just burn away. See? But if I wanted to save it, get my water gun out quickly. And since the sensors reset, you know, we can just, you know, pretend we're uh, an evil man and now we're the good guy. Trying to say, oh, I didn't save that one. So, see, they can be on fire and reset it infinitely. These chips should also work on any collected objects, so let's put them on these balls. Goodness gracious! And disappear. So this is Foofles, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun setting out some stuff on fire. Oh no! And I'll see what you can do for the forces of good or evil in Little Big Planet 2. Bye bye.